It was an exciting morning at the farm. Farmer Haggerty had fenced off a new paddock for his cows. And Millie and Molly had come to watch Scout herd them in. Molly! Farmer Haggerty's going to open the gate! But there's something swimming in that puddle. Look at the ripples in the water. Oh, let's have a look. All oh, right. Looks like a tadpole. Stop! Farmer Haggerty, wait! Please! Heavens, Molly! Whatever is it? A tadpole! It'll get trampled by the cows! We have to save it! A tadpole? I think it'll have to take its chances. Scout can't hold these cows much longer. We'll be quick, we promise! Please! Oh, all right. <coughs> all my days on this farm, and I've never been held up by a tadpole until now. In you go. Swim, swim. Hello, little tadpole. Sorry to bother you girls, but uh, do you think we might let these cows in now? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tiny Tadpole. Hey, Millie, let's call him Tiny, okay? I think we'll have to find you a better home to live in, Tiny. But that was easier said than done. Millie and Molly began their search for a nice new pond for Tiny. They started at the river because there was plenty of water there. You'll be having a nice day now. All aboard! All aboard! Let's find somewhere quieter and cleaner. It was peaceful at the vacant block down the road from Millie's house, and there was no rubbish about, but... It's very hot here. There's no shade to keep the pond cool, and no pond either. There was a lovely big pond at the park with lots of shade. It was quiet and clean, but... I can't see any other tadpoles. No, just lots of big hungry looking fish. Maybe they ate the tadpoles. You're not going in there, Tiny. Let's try again tomorrow. Hey, Jack, you playing soccer? Nah, going home. Grown-ups kicked us off the playing field. Yeah. Look, we found a tadpole. Oh. He's called Tiny. Cute. Ew. Ew. Hey, he's beautiful. And he'll be even more beautiful when he grows into a frog. Yeah, if we can find him a pond to grow up in. Millie and Molly searched the whole town without luck. There were no good ponds for a tadpole to live in anywhere. Poor Tiny, stuck in a jar. Hey Molly, maybe we could build him a pond right here in the garden. That's a great idea. Good thinking, Millie. a terrific idea with marmalade about. Millie and Molly couldn't think of one place to build a pond for poor Tiny. Peaceful, shady, damp. Shame there's nowhere in town like that. Or is there? Huh? Look around, Molly. Right here. Oh, it's damp. Shady, and no one plays in this part of the playground. It's perfect! A frog pond, you say, girls? Here in the school playground? Frogs need special places, and that's the only place where everything is just right. Well, I don't see why not. It'll make a great addition to our school. So Millie and Molly found out exactly what they needed to build a frog pond and started to make the perfect home for Tiny. It was hard going, but in time they had a hole that was about big enough. They put rocks around the edges, planted some plants that frogs might like to hide in, and scattered some leaves about to keep the ground moist. 
It was just the kind of place a tiny tadpole would like to grow up in. Swim free, Tiny. We'll visit you on Monday morning. Bye-bye, Tiny. But after the weekend, a terrible sight awaited them. Millie and Molly searched and searched the muddy puddle for their little friend. Tiny! Thank goodness you're safe! Who could have done this to your beautiful pond? These soccer boot prints might be a clue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we practice soccer here on Sunday. So? Well, didn't you notice the frog pond? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Saw something new. Didn't know it was a frog pond. I thought it was a puddle. Well, yeah. it is a frog pond. Or was. We spent ages building it. So could you practice somewhere else? Where? You <gasps> read Tiny's home. We didn't know anything was living there. Anyway, it's our practice field and we don't have anywhere else. Yeah. It's nowhere. <laughs> Look. The final's coming up and we've got a good chance of winning. But nobody cares. Mm -hmm. They just tell us to go away. This is the only place left to practice. And it's really important. Yeah, more important than a dumb tadpole. Yeah. Well, girls, I understand why you're upset. But the playground belongs to everybody in this school, including the soccer team. But what about Tiny? Hmm... How about this for an idea? He can live here in the classroom in his bowl. But Millie and Molly knew that Tiny couldn't live in a fishbowl forever. Soon he was going to grow up and not be Tiny anymore. First, he grew back legs. Then, he grew front legs. And then his tail grew shorter until it disappeared. Before long, Tiny the tadpole was a frog. And because he wasn't so tiny anymore, they changed his name to Prince Charming. Shoo! Shoo! Oh, oh, oh you wretched fly! Oh, Prince Charming! <laughs> <laughs> he ate the fly! He ate a fly? The fly? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Now, put a book over his pond to keep him from escaping. Prince Charming sure is funny. Aye, he may be funny, but I'm afraid he's outgrown his wee bowl. He needs more space. He needs to hop about outside so he can eat flies. But Miss Fly, he hasn't got anywhere else to live. Frogs need ponds and Now, Molly, chin up. Maybe he'll find his own pond. He's a very clever wee frog after all. But Millie and Molly knew there were no ponds. They'd searched every part of town. But with no better alternative, it was decided that Prince Charming would be released into the playground that afternoon. There you go, Tiny. I mean, Prince Charming. You're free. Good luck. Prince Charming. It's like he's trying to ask you something, Jack. Oh, maybe he does need that pond to live in. Do you, Prince Charming? But Jack, we need the playground to practice in. There's nowhere else. And a final's coming up. It's really important. I know. But, but frogs are important too. Duh. How could frogs be important? They eat flies, don't they? Nobody likes flies. That is kind of cool. But we'll have nowhere to practice. Hey, how about the vacant lot in my street? It's no good for a frog pond, but it's okay for soccer. Yeah, and we'll ask our dads to build you a soccer goal there. A proper one. What do you think? We've never had goalposts.
coast, and Prince Charming can have his pond. Sure. Okay, we'll do it. <laughs> That springtime, everybody was happy. The soccer team practiced hard and won their final. Miss Blythe and the whole class helped build Prince Charming a new pond in the playground. And other frogs came out of hiding to live at the pond, lay their eggs, and the eggs hatched into new tadpoles. And there were noticeably less flies in the playground. <laughs> Millie and Molly liked visiting Alf and his nan at the caravan that was their home. Oh, your turn, Molly. Alf's nan taught them games from the country she used to live in. And there was always something delicious for afternoon tea. Hooray! You win, Molly. Pack up horseshoe game now. We have the afternoon tea. What's for afternoon tea? Is it those little pancakes? The ones with wild blackberry jam? You and Nan make? Yes. <laughs> Where did you get all these horseshoes out? My Nan made them. In the old country, I look after the horses. My lovely Nan rode horses, made their horseshoes, and cured them when they were sick. You must know everything about horses, Alf Nan. I know I love the horses. Can you get the last horseshoe, Millie? Sure. Puddles! Yeah. <laughs> the next day, Puddles got up to a different kind of mischief out at Farmer Higgity's farm. <laughs> what on earth? Huh, who's this then? Where did you come from? Goodness, Pepper. Got the sniffles, have you, my girl? As for you, Mr. Dog, I better take you to the police station. See if we can find your owner. After school, Millie and Molly were going back to Elf's caravan to play horseshoes again. That nonsense is to the letter and to say thank you. I remembered my lovely nun's favourite. Puddles? Who's <laughs> your dog, Alf? His name is Puddles. Well, I was just about to report Puddles as a lost dog to the policeman. He was way out at my place. Wow, your farm's miles out of town. By the way, Alf, why is he called Puddles? He is a stray dog and... It's all right. I think I know now. When Millie, Molly and Alf reached Nan's caravan, huh? they were in for a nasty surprise. Nan, what are you doing? Caravan park is sold. Sold? They bid lots of houses here. We must go. Go? Away? When? Tomorrow. Oh! I do not tell you, Alf. I hope to find way to stay, but no. So we must go. Where are we going? We take caravan to another town. Oh, no! Another town! <laughs> Millie and Molly decided they had to find somewhere for Alf and Nan's caravan in their town, so they wouldn't have to move away. I'm sorry, Millie, but we can't fit a caravan into our yard. It's just not big enough for two families. So we're really sad that Alf has to move away and Typical. He's... Friends always let you down. That's why I don't get too attached. Now, a bunch of crisp carrots or a big firm cabbage never lets you down. But Aunt Maud, what about your friend Biddy Bid? You'd be sad if she had to move away. Fiddlesticks! Well, maybe. So would there be room in your beautiful, big gardens for one tiny little caravan? Of course not. I need every single inch of my garden for fruit, vegetables and flowers. How else can I stay the best gardener in the whole town? Tie your end of the clothesline, Ty. I will. I don't 
wonder why we didn't think of the park before, Millie. I just can't wait to tell Alf and Nan they don't have to leave town. Millie, Molly, what's all this? Isn't it great? Now Nan and Alf won't have to move away. They can park their caravan right here. But they can't. I'm sorry, but it's against the law. Against the law? Private caravans can only be used in special parks or on large areas of private land, not public parks like this. But there isn't any land like that in our town. No, I know. Nan's already been to see me, and we couldn't find anywhere. That means Alf and Nan will have to leave town tomorrow. <sighs> Sorry, girls. The following day, Millie and Molly came to say goodbye to Alf and Nan. Hi, Alf. What you got there? Old horseshoes. Good luck charms. From Nan and me. Thanks, Alf. You girls, good friends to my Alf. I just wish we could have found a way for you to stay. Better hit the road soon, Nan. Gotta come back and get me own caravan. All right, you two monsters. I brought you a couple of juicy apples. <laughs> Pepper! Uh, Pepper! What's wrong? My poor Pepper. You feel hot and your nose is running. I think you've got a fever. I'll go and get the vet, Pepper. I'll be as quick as I can. If only we could have done something. I'm going to miss her. Sorry, girls, but could you hurry? Pepper's sick. Vet's out on another emergency. Got to get back to the poor old girl. Poor Pepper! We know someone who can look after a sick horse. She has sickness in chest. The cold night was closing in by the time Nan reached Pepper's side. What can we do? Make her warm. Too cold. She get more sick. Right. Millie, Molly, Alf. I need your help. We need to build a windbreak. Find some blankets and build a fire. There'll be the makings in the barn. This'll keep you warm, Pepper. Phew! That stinks! What is it? Medicine for horse. Vinegar. Herbs. Millie? Molly? Are you going to be all right riding your bikes home in the dark? But we can't go now. We'll just worry about Pepper all night. Right. How about I ring home for you both? See if you can camp the night in the barn. Nan and Elf can stay with you. Okay, thanks, Farmer Hegarty. Elf can, but not me. I stay with Pepper. I will too. I'll be right by your side, girl. <coughs> Look, Salt's looking after Pepper too. I, Pepper, really trust you, Nan. She beautiful horse. Beautiful horse. Beautiful horse. Do you think... Do you think she'll make it through the night, Nan? I don't know. She very sick horse. <gasps> I'm worried too, boy. Alf, Millie, Molly, sleep time. Go now. Poor Pepper, will she be all right? If anyone can make her better, my lovely Nan can. But it's such a cold night. And Nan said if Pepper got too cold, she would get sicker.
Christopher is her old self again. I knew my lovely nan could make her better. How can I thank you? No need for thank you. I love the horses. I miss the horses. You and Elf are welcome to visit Pepper and Salt any time you like. You can teach Elf to horse ride now. No. We go away today. Where? Why are you? The caravan park was sold. Nan and Alf have to move a long way away. Oh, unless Farmer Higgity. Unless what, Millie? <laughs> Farmer Higgity had plenty of room for Alf and Nan's caravan. And even though he lived so far out of town, Alf was going to learn to ride Pepper to school. And other people were helping to make sure that Alf and his Nan would be very comfortable in their new home. There's a new home for Puddles too. Uh, by the way, why is he called Puddles? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Think I can guess. The policeman helped with the clothesline. And Aunt Maud and Biddy Bid planted a vegetable garden just for Nan and Alf. Biddy Bid! Don't plant the basil over there, it's got to go here, by the tomatoes. Keeps the caterpillars away. Fiddle and fiddle. <laughs> and everyone enjoyed an afternoon tea of Alf and Nan's speciality. Homemade pancake with wild blackberry jam. Oh, oh, all right, I'll, well, I'll have some. Well, um, oh, 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 o